Subscenario born from a wish. When I woke up, I was all alone. Everyone's gone. Is it because of those monsters? What do I do now? Do I fight and live? Or do those monsters get me? I don't have any reason to go on living. scared to die. I'm so afraid of pain. Should I run away? I want to find somebody. I don't like being alone. But... But is there anyone left alive? Yeah, so in this sub-scenario, we get a little mini-story as Maria. I feel like in that intro cutscene, they were being a little bit too much on the nose with what's going on inside of Maria. Behind the seat, there's something. Ah, uh, health drinks. So I got two health drinks, a revolver, and some rounds. Oh, it only, it only had one round. Was Maria playing Russian roulette? Let's look at the description for the revolver, actually. No, oh, there is no examine. Easy to use, but not much power. do have a map. So we're at Heaven's Night. Somewhere in the back of Heaven's Night? Or was or is our apartment just kind of like near there? No, this is definitely Heaven's Night. Chinese cleaver. Yep, that's a weapon. Square bladed knife. Ugly but powerful and easy to use. sure I'm not missing anything back here. That's where we came from. Is this like, this is a changing room, isn't it? Yeah. So I think the implication is that we worked here. Like I saw a stage out there and a pole.
Oh. I don't know if I want to go down there. Hmm. This way or down? Let's try down. I'm hoping it's blocked off. to do down there. I was wondering whether Maria was real or just sort of there for James. And I was really, really thinking and wanting it to be the case that they are a real person. Because I think it would just feel bad and and cheap and kind of weird if they weren't. And this, I think, pretty much confirms it. I mean, if Maria was just there for James, just for them or in their head or whatever, why would they have their own life here, completely separate from James? I guess it's just a coincidence they look so much like Mary. See something? Health drink. Healthy trucker right there. <sighs> Nothing for me to do here at Brookhaven. Good. I don't want to go in there. I'm just, ugh, I'm just gonna run. God, those are horrid noises. Is so thick. something. 
No. I wonder if this mini story ends when we find James. Remember, we found Maria at Rosewater Park. Oh God. Gotta go up Munson Street towards Rosewater Park. here. I think Maria was looking at something in that corner. Okay, I think I want to kill these. Yeah, something here? I can't even see it. What are you looking at? I swear they're looking at something. There. Revolver bullets. Damn. Oh, there's more, actually, I think. Yeah. The fog is so unbelievably thick. So, yeah, we really don't go this way, huh? No. Maybe we'll try to cut through Blue Creek Apartment. To the east there. That, there's, like, a little alleyway that could take us up to Rosewater Park.
Where is this? Don't have a map of this area. Is this Blue Creek apartment? No, this is a building just to the north of it. Oh god. I came back. I just want to know, do... Like, can I just not continue this way? Yeah, I can. I have to go inside. Cobwebs all over that candelabra up there. I love the walking sound of Maria's boots on this hardwood floor. This place was just called Mansion in the save. It's a model of the earth. Got any use for that? Ah, map. This place is pretty large. Baldwin House map. Do not use is what it says on this fireplace. It's boarded off. Do not use is written on it. Hmm. Suspicious. So dark, I wish I had a light. Oh, I see it. That's so cool. It's so dark and grainy, I can barely see it, and it's not moving because it's one of those ones that doesn't move until you get close. Whiteboard. White metal board with square holes punched into it. Found in second floor entrance hall. When the white breath is found, I shall dedicate this thing. O spirit of the mist, grant us fortune eternal. The white breath. I love how this camera goes up and down as you go forwards and backwards in this little walkway.
Is somebody there? Open up. Hello? Stop it. You're disturbing me. <gasps> Thank God. I finally found somebody. Can you open the door? No. But why? <sighs> Is it really necessary for me to answer all your tedious questions? Yes. Oh. I didn't know that. I want to be alone. Other people just irritate me. I just want to see another human face. Do you know what's happening in this town? There's no one here. Just monsters. Yes, I know. So what? It has nothing to do with me. No one here means there's no one to disturb me. You want to be alone in this insane asylum? Yes, exactly. But how can you say that it's this town that's insane? Perhaps it's we who are insane. Both of us, hopelessly insane. Are you satisfied? Would you leave me alone? My name is Maria. What's your name? Hemingway? Baldwin. Ernest? I'll be back. It was a very lonely conversation. And sad. One person who doesn't want to be bothered and Maria, who desperately wants anybody. Wait, is there anything more to do up here? Locked, locked, locked. Now we gotta go back downstairs. was that? Wait a minute. Oh, this thing has been broken away. The thing boarding it up has been broken in. And there's leaves all over the ground. Somebody came in through there. That was a noise. I hope it's... I don't know, just Laura being mischievous? Oh, there's a ladder. For some reason, there's a ladder in the fireplace leading up. Along the way, I can see something that looks like a hole. Climb the ladder? Not yet. I don't think I've explored anything down here, have I? Um, I can't get there. I haven't tried to get into the garage or that area to the north. 
Let's try that. Okay, up the ladder it is. Yep, this place is all grassy. We saw the leaves down there. So they didn't come from outside. They came from... I mean, this is... Like an inside cemetery garden? Very weird. Red board. Black board. When the dark grail is found, I shall dedicate this thing. You who deny death, grant us eternal, fortune eternal. When the crimson words are found, I shall dedicate this thing. O oh, you gods, deep in slumber, grant us fortune eternal. Do we use them here? Oh, is that a key? There's a square depression in the center of the tombstone. And above that is a carefully carved epitaph. Along with you died joy. All that remains is despair and a future of meaningless tomorrows. But I will never give up. One, to see your beautiful smile again. One, to beg the blessings of the gods. I wait for that day. When the boards cover all, all sadness too will be covered. But until my dreams return to reality, I will have to swallow all the pain. There's a key firmly embedded in the stone beneath the depression. No matter how hard I try, I can't pull it out. When they cover all the pain, Let's just try to shove a board in there and see what happens. I don't think there's anything else here. Mm -mm. Don't exactly know which one to start with. I don't know, let's just see what happens. I put the whiteboard into the hole. When it covers all, I assume that means I need to configure them in a way that there's no holes showing all the way to the back. It needs to cover all. Oh boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Insert it as is. So there's two holes showing. I'm going to do 180 degrees. Oh, that's not right. Open holes on the board are overlapping. I can still see the other side. Remove the board? Yeah. No, oh, no. Let's not remove anymore. Let's see if we can do anything with this red one. 
So I've done 180 degrees. Let's do it as is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that doesn't work either. I could try to draw this out. I don't know if that's necessary, though. Oh, no. Mistakes were made. 90 degrees to the right does not work. degrees to the left. Wait, did that actually work? When three boards overlapped, the key came free. Oh. I'm kind of surprised that worked. I thought I might have to read the clues and maybe that would give me some hints to exactly how to overlap them. All right, cool. Acacia key engraved with an acacia flower. Found embedded in stone slab. An acacia flower. So who exactly was up there? Somebody came from up there. And they were sealed in. Did they come back from the grave? Acacia flower. Wondering if there's some place that it would obviously go to. Not that I can see, really. There's no, like, garden room. That's one crossed off the list. And there's no more on this floor. Let's go upstairs. for this room. Oh. Is it? Ernest. Are you there? No. I guess not. That would be creepier if they weren't there. Where would they have gone? Can we try to manually use the key? No. In that case, there's only one place it could be for. This door here. Leads to a piano room, kids room. There we go. bed for a child. Matches. A doll sitting on the chair. Now that I look closer, it's filthy. Whoever lived here must have really loved this thing. Stuffed animals are lined up. This calendar is from ten years ago. Ten years ago, November. Did something?
something happened ten years ago in November? The shelf is filled with fairy tales and other children's literature. I'm sure I've never read this, but somehow it seems familiar. That's it for there. Oh, there's another door. What am I going to be burning with matches? <laughs> 